What's up, everybody? Carolina Jackpot time. Checking in. It is Wednesday afternoon. And I just want to say bravo, bravo. Thank you. Uh, decision made today, and uh, I think is a good decision made by Coach Will Muschamp and uh, Coach Ray Tanner, South Carolina uh, Athletics Director, South Carolina Head Football Coach, respectively. Uh, I made the decision today to go a different direction with the uh, offense for the uh, football program and uh, they relieved offensive coordinator Kurt Roper of his duties. Now, do I like to see anybody lose their job? No, I don't. But I will say this. Roper was getting compensated uh, for what he did rather well. So, you know, it's not like he's going to be out there homeless tomorrow. He will uh, live another day. And uh, he'll find another job somewhere. Uh, things just weren't working out. I'm glad they jumped on this right now when they had a chance to uh, and didn't let the problem continue to fester. Eight and four regular season. Good regular season. Good regular season for the Gamecocks. Uh, improvement over last year's six and six regular season in Coach Muschamp's first year. But you got to look at it this way. There were two wins out there left on the table. Texas A&M game and the Kentucky game were both left on the table. South Carolina should have won both those games. They should have finished the regular season 10-2. And, and, hell, who knows? Could have even done better than that. Let's just face facts. Uh, under uh, Coach Roper, the offense was just kind of solid. It was stagnant both years. Uh, we were ranked in the uh, low 100s uh, in offensive output. In the country, in the country, uh, you know, that's with everybody. That's everybody in FBS, everybody. Uh, teams from like Old Dominion, Southern Miss, uh, UMass, ranking higher than South Carolina in uh, total offense. That's just unacceptable. It's pathetic and sad. And uh, I'm glad that they uh, decided to make a change. And, you know, you got the Clemson fans. You got Clemson Nation out here. They always got to bang their drum and they have to. Uh, put their, uh, their two cents for whatever it's worth in on anything, and they're sitting here, well, y'all you, you, fired him. It, that was a wrong uh, wrongful termination. You shouldn't have fired him. Uh, you know, Coach Boom is known for ruining offensive coordinators. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you should have left him out there. Y'all need to take a step back. The reason, number one, the Clemson fans don't want to see him around anymore, or they want to see him around, is because he sucks. He sucked against Clemson. 17 points in two years, this man's offense put up against Clemson. And I know. No, we don't have Clemson-level talent. We don't have elite-level playoff talent. But, you know, neither did NC State. NC State scored 31 points on you. Syracuse didn't have elite talent. They scored 24 points on you. A change had to be made, a change needed to be made, and a change was made. Of course they don't want him to leave. Of course they don't want him to leave. They want to continue uh, to pound him. They want the program to treadmill right there at the eight and four level and to never rise above it. You know, they, you know, we're here to win. We're here to win the SEC championship. We're here to go to the playoffs. We're not here to uh, stay eight and four and go to the Outback Bowl and play Michigan. I said, I'm not happy with I'm happy with that result. To be honest with you, at the end of the year, after you went six and six last year, they're continuing to improve. But improvements need to be made. You have to tweak things. If something's not working out, you have to tweak it. Um, being a head coach is kind of like being a manager in an establishment of retail, and your your coordinators are like your assistants. You know, and if your assistants aren't getting the job done and you can't delegate things to them to get done uh, to the best of their ability or to the, uh, the, the good of the team, as it were, then uh, they need to go. Um, Jake Bentley regressed in year two, I feel like, under Kurt Roper's uh, leadership and tutelage. Uh, I think he progressed as a running quarterback, but I think his uh, passing stats went downhill. And uh, you can sit there and say all day long, you know, well, we lost our best wide receiver in the second game of the year. I don't know that he was necessarily our best wide receiver. He was our best athlete, Debo Samuel. You know, Brian Edwards, um, Hayden Hurst, all those guys can make plays, but, uh, you know, it just could happen. I mean, the Clemson game, for instance, it was a damn farce. Uh, you know, we lost that game. 
Jake Milne gave away a touchdown. He gave one touchdown away totally. The defense did give away uh, a couple of scores. The Hunter Renfro touchdown was just absolute garbage. Uh, that's you know that's the one Clemson player that I can't stand more than any of them. I, I, just, I, I can't I can't stand him. I don't know why, but I just can't. And um, the the long t- uh, pass completion down to T Higgins uh, when they had him matched up against Jamias Williams. Set up another one. Other than that, they didn't drive the ball on us. They didn't. And the Clem Dunk fans want to sit here and speculate, well, we could have scored 60 on you if Dabo had left the starters. Well, you know, maybe you could have, maybe you couldn't. That's all pure speculation. But the fact of the matter is, the offense didn't do anything to uh, counteract that. Did nothing. Jake Bentley had wide open looks. You want to sit there and you can go back and uh, some of these people have freeze framed some of these plays from high above. Dude, there was one play he had like four or five guys he could have thrown the ball to. And he tucked it and ran. I mean, it's just he, he doesn't know how to read coverages right now. And, um, you know, uh, getting some new blood in there, someone new who can run that offense is what we need. I've heard some names thrown about. I heard a guy that's at Connecticut. It's offensive coordinator right now. His name escapes me. Uh, but he's from the Gus Malzahn tree, uh, played at Arkansas, uh, was a, uh, actually a high, he played in high school under Gus Malzahn. So, uh, you know, I think if we could get him there, that'd be a hell of a coup for, uh, Gamecocks, plus a young guy too. So, um, I want to say like, uh, 34, 35 years old. Anyway, that's what we need. We need some youth movement. Uh, we need some fire in the belly and the offense of that program. The defense is coming around, and uh, we get that squared away. They will be just fine and looking to compete for an SEC East championship. The dogs, now Georgia, are going to have plenty more to say about that, but uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, they're losing quite a bit of talent, losing a hell of a lot of talent from that team this year. So uh, I don't look for them to uh, – I don't look for them to be what they are this year. Next year, I'm sure they're, they're still going to be up there uh, nine or ten win level, but we're definitely going to be able to compete with them. South Carolina and Georgia, mark my words, next year are going to slug it out for the SEC East Championship. That's it, guys. Glad they made the decision they made. Like I said, hate to see a man lose his job, but uh, it's business. Carolina Jackpot checking out. I'll see you all later. Go Coach Boom and go Gamecocks. Woo! Ah, ah, ah.